If we have some extra time, I'd like to just roll right into the painting stuff. But before we do that, <clears throat> uh, a couple of tips. Who does not know about the renderer.ini file? Okay. Last year, was it last year sometime, they changed the car resolutions from 1,024 by 1,024 to 2,048 by 2,048. Um, that screenshot, which actually looks really good on a monitor, not so great on a projector, is 2,048 by 2,048 resolution. The problem with that is when you're running those kind of resolutions, it can really kill the performance of your system. And so the render I and I, you can edit that file. And let me kind of show you why and what the results are that of are that. So the render.ini, I keep a shortcut to it on my desktop because I'm editing it all the time. But it lives in your My Documents iRacing root folder right there. And you open that up. You scroll, now you don't have to scroll far. All right, so with, with these three lines, what you're essentially telling the sim to do is how to render your suits, helmets, and car files. Uh, uncompressed or compressed, and at what resolution for the car files. I've got a lot of memory. I've got a, long, a strong system, good video card, so I render the suits and helmets at uncompressed. I pull into the pits, which is often to fix things. I like to hit my little look left thing and see nice pit uniforms over there. I like them looking good because I spend so much time there looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> so really, that's just, you know, whatever your preference is. It's not going to hurt anything to leave that at what they have recommended to block compress. Uh, you're there to race, not to stare at crew uniforms, right? But the car paint's important because... It allows you to either set your car textures to 1,024 by 1,024 or 2,048 by 2,048. Well, obviously, for painting purposes and screenshot purposes, you, you want that to look as nice as you can get it. And so you want to come in here and paint the car, change that to a 1 on this right here, and then the next time you start up the sim, it's going to render your cars in 2048 by 2048 resolution. But your frame rate may go down to 15 frames per second. So 2048 is really good for painting. 1024 is really good for racing. If you've got a really good system, you can do both at 2048. Um, it's the one above that's really the one you got to be careful with, the compressed textures on the cars. And you'll see over here that iRacing has said, hey, don't ever do uncompressed, because that's the one that really will kill your frame rates. If you run 2048 by 2048 uncompressed, your frame rates are going to be, they're going to go down a lot, especially if you're running high graphics, high detail, a lot of people in the stands, you got 25 cars around you they're going to go down. But you want that car to look good when you're in there painting it so you can really see the detail. Sometimes you got to zoom in really close. And if you're going to do screenshots, you want it to look good. So my rule of thumb is, for me personally, I want to keep as high a frame rate as I can when I'm racing. And at speed, I cannot tell the difference. If there are two cars around me, I can't tell the difference at speed, whether they're in 1024 or 2048. So I run, when I race, I run at 1,024 uncompressed. Um, still looks really good, and typically the, the average system can handle 1,024 at uncompressed. I had never raced at 2,048 uncompressed, and honestly, I think 2,048 compressed looks so bad. I just run 1024 uncompressed looks good still runs good if i go into paint then i uncompress and i set everything at 2048 2048 and i'll show you the difference if you uh put a little shortcut to the renderer.ini on your desktop like i did it makes it really easy to pop it open make your edits save start sim do your paint job you're finished 
go back in there and set it back to what it was. These are some screenshots I took. of the different resolutions and compression. So this first one is 1024 by 1024 compressed. And if you look at the contingencies, it's, it's hard to tell here, but if you're looking at my monitor, see the edge of that, all the artifacting of the image uh, up around here, there are extra squares and pixels, it's very, Got a lot of artifacting. The, uh, the Goodyear's not very crisp. Down here on this line, you see a lot of artifacting on this logo. Um, if y'all came and looked at my screen, I mean, it jumps right out. The cars look bad at 1,024 uh, compressed. All right, so the next one is 1,024 uncompressed, and it improves a little bit better. Things have sharpened up a little bit. This is a little bit sharper. All those extra pixels we had down here are gone. These are looking a little bit cleaner. The next one is 2048 compressed. You can tell the difference because things got sharper when I went to the higher resolution but you've still got the artifacting. You can see these little brown lines on the edge. Um, typically where that's gonna happen is where you have two different colors coming into contact with each other, different colored lines and stuff like that. Um, you'll see it on the outline of your numbers a lot if you're running compressed. And then this last one is 2048 uncompressed, the highest graphics level you can set. Everything's super sharp and super crisp. You know, look at the difference and how sharp that is compared to the first one. It's a big difference. This screen doesn't do it justice, but if you saw it over here, and I'll be glad to show it to you after if you want to see it. So what you have to determine for yourself is what can my box handle, you know, what can my computer handle? I say race at the highest level you're comfortable with that you're not going to lose frames and start to kill your experience. But when you're painting, go in there and set that thing to 2048 uncompressed so you can really get in there and see and things will look good, especially if you're going to take screenshots. Um, just if you're curious, these are my settings for racing. I have just about everything on high detail except for the crowds because high detail just means it renders the back of the crowd. You know, I'm not going to see that unless I'm in a replay, so I just keep those on low detail. If I'm painting, I keep the filter checked and the two pass checked, and I set this to 16, 8, and 3 and I keep the 2048 by 2048 car textures. If I'm racing, I turn those two off, set that to 8X, both of those to four, and I uncheck that. And that gets me a lot of performance increase when I'm in that crowd of cars competing for 27th. Um, you just have to have, find the, what works for you as far as racing goes. But if you're going to paint and take screenshots, try to set all these as high as you can possibly get them for what your system will handle.